Right, so one of the last things we need to do is how do we ask the user a question and what do we actually do for it with that information? So for example, I'm going to ask the user what the best animal is. I do that using the input function. There's your open and close round brackets again. And in speech marks, because it's going to be a string, I got to ask them, what is the best animal? And when I run it, you'll see on the in our output screen, it's now waiting for you to enter something. So if I answer cat, which is the best animal, it doesn't do anything yet. I'm going to go back up and I'm going to add a backslash n, so that way my answer isn't right next to the question, just so it looks a little bit neater. And then I'm going to actually do something with the answer. So I'm going to go if our best animal equals equals, because that's checking if it's the same. So if they're answering the question cat, so if the best animal equals cat, so if it's a string, which is why it's in the speech marks, I'm going to tell them something, and I'm going to tell them we're on the same page. We're on the same page. So now every time I run it, a new line, it's going to ask what is the best, the best animal. So if I answer cat, it's going to say we're on the same page. But if I answer, say, dog, you'll see it doesn't do anything yet. So you can get around that by using an else statement, and then that'll run any time I answer something that's not cat. And you'll notice the structure of this is a little bit different from JavaScript. Rather than having our open and close brace brackets, we just use four sp spaces. We indent our code to show that something is inside it. So now when I run it, if I enter, say, dog, you can see we get you. Because obviously the correct answer is cat. But also if I answer anything, like fish, I still get that else statement. Because that runs every single time that this condition is not true.